Yo, what's up peoples? This is your man AG Got Beats. I'm back again today with another quick tutorial. A lot of people have been asking about time stretching or real time time stretching inside a machine. It is available and it's simple and easy to use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is, I have a drum break um, over here and I'm gonna play the drum break real fast. All right, as you can see, the drum break is at 91 BPM. So let's go ahead and drag that over. Okay, so the first thing, when you drag over something into the sound slot, by default, it's gonna give you a sampler. All right, so we don't want the sampler. What we wanna do is hold shift, hit browser, and then we wanna select the audio. So let's go ahead and load the audio. And by doing that, it's already done. We time stretched our drum break and now it should play at 120 BPM. Let's go ahead and play it back. All right, as you can hear, that's super fast. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go into our tempo, which you select tempo, and we're gonna bring that down to say 88. All right, so let's go ahead and play it now. All right, so we got the drum break and it's playing at, at 88 BPM. All right, so now we can start playing around with the other settings, you know, and um, going through that real quick. So the first thing is you have loop and gate. Well, we're gonna focus on loop for right now. So the next slot you have is tune. So if we play in the drum break, it'll keep the time of 88 BPM, but we can take the tune up or the pitch up and down. So let's go ahead and do that. And you know, as you can tell, if you start pitching it down, that's when you can get that real grimy sound. Like um, somebody had asked me, how did I do it before? This is how I did it. I time stretched it and then pitched it down. All right, so the other thing that you can do is you can mess with the pitch bin, but it really doesn't apply in samples. So I'm not even gonna go into that. The next thing you wanna do is focus on your engine mode. By default, it starts on stretch. And that's the most, I guess, common one. So the other options you have is repitch. And what repitch will do is as you go up in the BPM, the pitch will go up. And if you go down in the BPM, the pitch will go down. Like think of it like a record player or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that's pretty much how that works. All right, and then the, the last two items are for the source. So it'll be the tempo that machine um, detected for your loop. And as you can see, it got it right. It was at 91 BPM. And the length of the sample is 16 bars. So that's pretty much, you know, spot on with machine. That's what we're looking at in the repitch engine. All right, and the last one will be the formant. So the format will keep the tune better than stretch. It's like when you do stretch, you'll hear some of the artifacts. It'll still keep the same BPM and the same pitch, but you'll hear more of the artifacts with stretch. Format is good for like, say for instance, melodic loops or vocal samples, things like that. So we're gonna focus more on the melodic sample. So let's go on to group B and let's load up the composition. So, and the thing is, with the composition, you can't really approach it the same way that we did with the loop because the composition don't necessarily start on a one. It's not a set number of bars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to chop the sample up and then make it fit into you know four bars, eight bars, something like that. So as you can see, the BPM is at 96. We clearly are at 88 for our BPM. Let's go ahead and drag that over. All right, let's go ahead and set our polyphony. So 
it's not overlapping. Let's go ahead and check the sample out a little bit. So right now, if we try to use the same technique that we used in the loop, you're gonna notice that it's not gonna match up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try the same thing. We're gonna hit shift, go to browser, and we're gonna go to audio. So now you can see it's time stretch, right? So let's go ahead and play it and see what happens. Sounds like crap. All right, so how we get around that is we have to come back out of audio. So let's hit shift, go to browse, and we're gonna go back to our sampler. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and edit the sample. We're gonna chop it into a loop. So you want to go into sampling, zoom in a little bit. So what's throwing everything off is this little beginning right here. So let's uh, chop that out and then we're gonna start directly when the sample starts. Scroll all the way over. Find our start point and let's check it out. All right, let's zoom in a little bit more. Move it over. All right, zoom back out. We got our start point. Now we're going to let it play about four bars and then we're going to put our end point. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, so it's gonna stop somewhere around there. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll over a little bit. Let's play it back one more time to see. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna truncate this sample. Uh, we got it on truncate already, gonna hit apply. And what that did was create a four bar loop for us. Now we just repeat the same method. Hold shift, hit browser. We're gonna take it to audio unit, hit load. And now everything should be pretty much lined up at 88 BPM. Let's check it out. All right, so pretty much that's how you time stretch but we can take it a step further with the melodic loops or the compositions, all right? And remember I said before, um, we wanted to use formant. So I'm gonna, let's mute the drums so you can tell the difference. All right, so let's go ahead and play it uh, with stretch and then we're gonna go into formant. <laughs> All right, and you can hear it's a lot cleaner. And like I said, the more that I would go down in BPM, you would really be able to tell the difference. Make sure you check out one of my latest videos or one that YouTube suggests for you. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.